I think I can smell her perfume all the way to Cleveland. It's hard keeping my mind on Leo Drummond and his people. They'll be flying in first class, and after a leisurely dinner, they'll meet in some boardroom and discuss my total destruction. Around the time I'm checking into Motel 6, they'll be sleeping soundly in their suites. And they'll wake up fresh, and rested, and ready for war. It's my deposition, but it's their turf. Uh, young Rudy Baylor, I'm just on time, too. Mr. Young. Get this boy some coffee, Tyler. Jack Underall, Rudy Baylor. Young, young nice Law is always a hungry lawyer. All his boss claims under. There must be a hundred years of legal experience gathered around the table. Lovely My staff has flunked the bar exam six times. Now, Rudy, don't be intimidated by all these bars on this side of the table. I guarantee you get them on a the golf course, they fold like a cheap suit. <laughs> let's see, let's see what we got here. I think maybe it's uh, uh, appropriate to start with the uh, corporate designee, Jack Underhall, here. Right here. I, I don't think so. I beg your pardon? Well, you heard me. I, I wanted to start with... Uh, Jackie Lemanchik, the claims handler. I think it's best we start with Mr. Underhall. With all due respect, Mr. Drummond, this is my deposition. I'm going to call these witnesses in the order in which I see fit. So I'd like to start with Jackie Lemanchik. Maybe we should just go call the judge. And... Oh, I don't believe we have to. Get pugilistic this time of the morning. <laughs> I'm not meaning to be pugilistic. We're simply having a little problem with uh, Jackie Lemanchik, uh, this Polish woman. What sort of problem? She doesn't work here anymore. Was she fired? She resigned. She resigned. Um, well, where is she now? Well, she is no longer working for our client, and uh, we can't produce her as a witness, so let's move along. All right, Russell Crockett. Anybody in the room named Russell Crockett? He's gone too. He's downsized. Downsized. And what a coincidence. Our client is going through a periodic downsizing. Yeah, well, that will happen, won't it? How about Everett uh, Lufkin, vice president of claims? Has he been downsized, too? No, he's here. You're Everett Lufkin? Mm-hmm. My congratulations, Mr. Lufkin on your miraculous survival of the carnage of late here at Great Benefit. <coughs> I may not be 100% today, but I'm here in spirit. <laughs> I'm curious. About what? I'm just wondering. Do you even remember when you first sold out? Now you're an arrogant little pissant, aren't you? I advise you to mind your manners. You're in the big water now. Mind my manners. I come up here from Memphis to depose four people, two of whom are not here. And you tell me to mind my manners? Well, it's your dime. What's your cost, huh? I'm gonna depose him, Mr. Lufkin over there. Then I'm gonna pack up. I'm gonna go back to Memphis. So this is how the uninsured die. In a society filled with brilliant doctors and state-of-the-art technology, it's obscene to let this boy just wither away and die. He was covered by an insurance policy that his mother paid good money for. It wasn't big money, but it was good money. I'm alone in this trial. I'm seriously outgunned, and I'm scared. But I'm right. 
I sit here with this poor suffering kid and I swear revenge. 